Yeah, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my new tutorial. Today we will have a topic which is really already long time discussed in the world of web design, especially when it is about um, modern web design and all these several devices we are using nowadays with different sizes of screens. And we already have some really neat solutions when it is about responsive web design, but when we are talking about images, we are still a bit stuck because all the solutions we used till today are kind of a bit hacky and re not really cleanly solved. So it is highly time to kind of find a solution which everybody can use more or less. I need to say it still because not all browsers still are guiding for the same solution but as you can see now here in can I use database we will have a look now to the source set attribute it is an HTML attribute um, for the image uh, element and you see this is really highly supported already in a lot of browsers just not the Opera Mini and the old IE but already the Internet Edge Explorer and the Edge 12 and 13 will have support for this source set. So it is guiding into the future. You can really use it and in any way it is it has um so this element, this functionality has a fallback for all the browsers, so it will crash anyway silently. So if the browser is not supporting it, um, the user who is um, visiting your site will not really um, get known to this um, failure. But now let's come to the topic. What is a source set? So the source set is giving you the ability to tell the browser, so the browser of the client, like you have a set of images which the browser can choose out of. So if you have a small image, a screen size, and he can choose a small um, image, and he is, if he, if the browser is um, run on a bigger screen size, he can use the bigger, the larger um, image. So let's have a look now at an example. So usually you are having like an image element, and you have in it a source attribute. So and in that we will have now. A look for a kind of an example picture. So let's take it from Lauren Pixels and let's say the picture shall have a size of 124 um, 768 pixel, pixels and let's give it like kind of a topic it shall be a nature image so close the image tag and the image shall appear now okay without the s so now we have here a pixel and an image and independently from the size of the screen this image will have always the same size so you see it sucks already if the screen is smaller than this 1024 pixels and width then the, pic the image will be not fully visible already. So what to do? Normally you could do something here with CSS now, with um, media queries or something like that. To solve this problem you, can, you could make relative, uh, um, relative sizes of the image, so 100% that, that it will adapt now here to the screen size. But this is not really cool in any way because the image always has the same size so even if you have a small screen so like on a mobile device the browser will load the whole big image which could be as well good for a large um, smart TV for example and this as you can imagine for traffic in the web is really not um, advisable so how can we solve that? So besides this MIDI queries where you could like do with CSS in a diff container like define background images which was a hacky solution for that 
um, you can now um, specify a set of images in this already existing image element. So besides that, you can still leave this source here for a fallback if the browser is not supporting source set. You can define now a new attribute source set and in this attribute you can define a list of images now, a comma separated list of images um, for specific width of the screen, so of the viewport of the um, user which is visiting your who is visiting your site. So and today I will just give you a, um, some example of one of these possibilities to use the source set. There are several, but as I don't want to make such a long tutorial here now with all the specifics in it, I will give you links for it if you want to dig into the topic deeper. We will make now use of the W descriptor. So this W descriptor gives the browser information about the width of the picture. So the browser knows the width of the picture. This is very important because the browser is then choosing which picture is usable or is is good to use for the client's browser, for the client's screen better. So let's make an example. So lorempixel.com. So again we will make 124, 700, 68 and the topic of city so you see our browser this is a firefox no source set attribute so he will use this one so a city picture not a nature picture anymore mm, but you see nothing is changing he still keeps it doesn't matter how where, wide the screen is so we will tell the browser now that this image has width of 124 pixels and we'll define it now with a W so this is like the width and to make it interesting now we need to give another picture laurenpixel.com um, for a different size so let's make now 640 480 pixels and let's use here now transport as a topic for the, pic for the pictures and define this picture which has a width of 640 pixels and let's give this information now to the browser 640w so you see the browser knows now this picture you are uploading here has a size of 640 pixels this picture has a size of 1024 pixels and this information now here gives this information to the browser of the client who is visiting your site so let's try it out here we are having like a very wide picture and we see the city image now so we can make it smaller we can make it smaller like the quotient 1024 through 1000 or 900 something, 800 something, whatever is still like smaller than one now. Mm. And you see that if you change, oops, we have to reload it now here because it's HTML, it's not automatically changing. But you see, anyway, he will load the city image still, not the transport image. So, but if you reach this 640 pixels now here let's see 636 now so it's now smaller than this or equal to 640 pixels and let's reload it again and you see now he's using the transport picture so this is really perfect as you can see he is using this image now until he, the width of the screen is getting larger than 640 pixels so let's make it like 641 pixels 
reload it again and you see he is using the city again so as long as the width of the screen is not larger than this w description is here telling the browser the width this image is loaded and if it is getting smaller and a smaller picture is defined the smaller image is loaded so you see this is really perfect and keep in mind the browser is just loading this image it is not loading all the images and then just shows this one or the other one depending on the width it is just loading it so the traffic the request um, the HTTP request is just once shoot it so there is no um, traffic um, without reason done this is really a big adventure uh, advance of any other solution we had till now when it is about responses, responsive images let's make a third image here now lorempixel.com a very small one so for like really old mobile devices so a very small picture if you have a bad internet connection then you can define this here now 320 and as you guessed it already so now it's still loading the transport because 500 so how much did we have here now 534 so it is still bigger than 320 so the browser is choosing this one but if we are reaching like 316 pixels when he's reloading it oh, let's give it another so nature again mm. so what's going ah, okay this is just don't forget the commas here he's reloading now the nature so small picture the age the nature now we have a larger so the middle size he's loading the transport and if it's larger than 1024 he's loading the city image so and this is really perfect and it's really easy to use okay so that was already the first information when it's about image source set so you can use like the w descriptor here to define a set of images for different sizes of the viewports of the width of the screen of the user who is visiting your site and the browser of the user will choose out of this set in proper image for the width so they are like as this source set image element is like kind of new still there are browsers who are um, more using images which are smaller in size or so faster to load or better to, to see when it is about the width but for this um, stuff I will give you some links that you can like dig into this topic deeper anyway it is an easy possibility to define like a set and to get kind of a responsive image functionality on your website okay so now in the next small tutorial I will give you kind of an introduction to another attribute which the source set is giving us the source sizes attribute but for now it's enough and I hope you learned something new as I told you I will give you some links for more information about this um, image element and the source set attribute yeah I am looking forward for your comments goodbye